about spring cleaning. It's not just about getting your home organized. The change of the season is a perfect time to make sure that your car is safe and that you are going to be come spring and summer. Swap some stuff out. Join me live with more on what you should have in your car to stay safe. Indiana State Police Sergeant John Perrine. So good to see you again. You're not tired, are you, of talking about winter driving yet? Come on. You know, I'm so happy that we can talk about <laughs> summer driving and spring driving. You know, it's interesting, too, because some people might say, well, this is common sense. No, duh. Why are you talking about it? I have a brand new driver, right? A young daughter who might not have all of these things in her vehicle. We're all at different stages of life. Um, let's start with some of the things that you do think that are important, maybe common sense, but again, just a good reminder. Yeah, you know, of course, a first aid kit. You never know when you're going to need some sort of medical assistance or medical emergency. So uh, a basic first aid kit that is kept in your car. It's not the one that you get the band-aids out of when you scrape your knee at home. It's the one that stays in your car for, for a true emergency. And I know um, I have jumper cables. I am that person that does not know how to use them. I mean, I know that you put an opposite one here and there. Um, tell me a little bit about obviously why you try to get people like me to make sure that not only do you have them in your vehicle, but that you know how to use them. Well, we could all use those reminders, but anytime you're stranded on the side of the highway, the side of the road, anywhere, it's dangerous. I mean, it's specifically on the side of the interstate. And so the quicker you can get yourself out of there or somebody else can get you out of there, the safer it is for everyone. So uh, having those preparations in place like jumper cables or a tire pump or uh, making sure that you have a spare tire and that that tire is inflated and you have the tools to change that spare tire. Even if you don't know how to do those things, somebody like me may stop. Mm -hmm. And as long as you have all of that stuff in your vehicle, we can get you out of there pretty quick. Yeah, and while you're here talking about those things, what is the safest way to actually pull over on the side of the road so that when someone like you're going to help us, we're not putting everyone in danger? We've been doing stories on that lately where people are getting killed because they're not off on the side of the road or someone driving by is not paying attention. Well, I think people easily take for granted that if they're off the side of the road, they're safe, that they'll get out of their car, they'll walk around, they'll change a tire on the on the highway side, whatever it may be. And that's just simply not true. So anytime you're stranded on the side of the road, you should stay in your vehicle with your seatbelt on. Now, if you're making roadside repairs, make sure you get to the safest possible location. Be aware if you're over the top of a hill, uh, around a curve, or really in a bad spot, and try to get out of that. If it's something so simple as a flat tire, I always encourage my family uh, drive on that flat tire mm -hmm. on the shoulder to a safe location. And yeah. if you destroy the rim, we'll replace the rim, but it's much, much safer. We have about a minute left, and these are some of the no brainers a little bit. But again, sometimes we just don't have them in there. You know, some of those, the bottled water, an extra phone charger. I think these are interesting the flashlight and the paper map. Yeah, you know, sometimes we get so reliant on our, our GPS or our phones or whatever for, for directions that if we get detoured because of a road closure and all of a sudden we don't have any service and our GPS isn't working, how are we going to know how to go? So maybe, if you know, you can get a free Indiana State map uh, uh, at a lot of places uh, to keep in your car in case you need to actually look at a paper map. Hey, how's your glove box, by the way? Is it pretty clean? You know, I, I am very um, particular <laughs> about making sure that the old paperwork is gone and the new paperwork is in there because we stand on the side of the road sometimes watching people flip through years yes. worth of bills and paperwork trying to find their registration and their insurance. Oh, thank goodness for my husband. He He's like, Ange, come on, let me help you out. Um, yeah. Hey, Sergeant Prine, thank you so much. Um, just again, some common sense, but good reminders this time of year.